Hey friends, did you know that thanks to an amazing member of the community, .NET Aspire already has support for MongoDB? Well, it does and it's super simple. So in your app host project, just make sure that you have the Aspire hosting MongoDB NuGet package added. Then in your app host program.cs file, it's as simple as just adding a new method here. So we can create an object called MongoDB, which is builder or add MongoDB. You can then add the name of the data, the component so that you can reference it later. And then you can add some additional things here. So this is optional, but if you do dot with Mongo Express, what this will do is it will add a interactive GUI for actually interacting with your data and your database and collections, etc. actually from the dashboard. Then with data volume, we'll create a data volume called DrinksDB that will then persist your data across sessions. And then you can create a database to start with, which you choose to called Drinks. And then the main thing to do then is when you're referencing it in the other project that you wish to use it, so in this case, Aspire Atlas Web, just tag on to the end of it to the add project call with reference, passing it in the name of that object that we created above, in this case, MongoDB. So that's the app post. And then in the consuming projects, so in this case, .web, just make sure that you add the aspire.mongodb.driver package. Then in the, in the program.cs where you consume it, all you need to do is then do builder.addMongoDB client. Then in a service class or somewhere else that you plan to consume it, all you then need to do is add the iMongo client and that will automatically be available through dependency injection thanks to this, this integration and the availability of it from adding it in our program.cs file. And just like that, you can then start taking advantage of it in your code with all the power of .NET Aspire with MongoDB. Awesome.